Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm uh, honored to be with you today for your commencement. For I'm uh, honored to be with you today for your commencement. I'm uh, honored to be with you today for your commencement for, from one of the finest universities in the world. From one of the finest universities in the world. From one of the finest universities in the world. <laughs> Truth be told, uh, I never graduated from college. Truth be told, uh, I never graduated from college. Truth be told, uh, I never graduated from college, and uh, this is the closest I've ever gotten to a college graduation. <laughs> and uh, this is the closest I've ever gotten to a college graduation. <laughs> and uh, this is the closest I've ever gotten to a college graduation. <laughs> Today, I want to tell you three stories from my life. Today, I want to tell you three stories from my life. Today, I want to tell you three stories from my life. That's it. No big deal. Just three stories. That's it. No big deal. Just three stories. That's it, no big deal, just three stories. The first story is about connecting the dots. The first story is about connecting the dots. The first story is about connecting the dots. I dropped out of Reed College after the first six months. I dropped out of Reed College after the first six months. I dropped out of Reed College after the first six months, but then stayed around as a drop-in for another 18 months or so before I really quit. But then stayed around as a drop-in for another 18 months or so before I really quit. but then stayed around as a drop-in for another 18 months or so before I really quit. So why'd I drop out? So why'd I drop out? So why'd I drop out? It started before I was born. It started before I was born. It started before I was born. My biological mother was a young unwed graduate student. My biological mother was a young unwed graduate student. My biological mother was a young unwed graduate student and she decided to put me up for adoption and she decided to put me up for adoption. and she decided to put me up for adoption. She felt very strongly that I should be adopted by college graduates. She felt very strongly that I should be adopted by college graduates. She felt very strongly that I should be adopted by college graduates. So everything was all set for me to be adopted at birth by a lawyer and his wife. So everything was all set for me to be adopted at birth by a lawyer and his wife. So 
So everything was all set for me to be adopted at birth by a lawyer and his wife. Except that when I popped out, except that when I popped out, except that when I popped out, they decided at the last minute that they really wanted a girl. They decided at the last minute that they really wanted a girl. They decided at the last minute that they really wanted a girl. So my parents, who were on a waiting list, so my parents, who were on a waiting list, so my parents, who were on a waiting list, got a call in the middle of the night asking, got a call in the middle of the night asking, got a call in the middle of the night asking, we've got an unexpected baby boy, do you want him? We've got an unexpected baby boy, do you want him? We've got an unexpected baby boy, do you want him? They said, of course. They said, of course. They said, of course. My biological mother found out later that my mother had never graduated from college. My biological mother found out later that my mother had never graduated from college. My biological mother found out later that my mother had never graduated from college and that my father had never graduated from high school, and that my father had never graduated from high school. And that my father had never graduated from high school. She refused to sign the final adoption papers. She refused to sign the final adoption papers. She refused to sign the final adoption papers. She only relented a few months later. She only relented a few months later. She only relented a few months later when my parents promised that I would go to college. When my parents promised that I would go to college. when my parents promised that I would go to college. This was the start in my life. This was the start in my life. This was the start in my life. And 17 years later, I did go to college. And 17 years later, I did go to college. And 17 years later, I did go to college. But I naively chose a college that was almost as expensive as Stanford. But I naively chose a college that was almost as expensive as Stanford. But I naively chose a college that was almost as expensive as Stanford and all of my working class parents savings were being spent on my college tuition and all of my working class parents savings were being spent on my college tuition and all of my working class parents savings were being spent on my college tuition after 6 months i couldn't see the value in it after 6 months I couldn't see the value in it. After six months, I couldn't see the value in it. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life.
I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life and no idea how college was going to help me figure it out. And no idea how college was going to help me figure it out. And no idea how college was going to help me figure it out. And here I was spending all the money my parents had saved their entire life. And here I was spending all the money my parents had saved their entire life. And here I was spending all the money my parents had saved their entire life. So I decided to drop out and trust that it would all work out okay. So I decided to drop out and trust that it would all work out okay. So I decided to drop out and trust that it would all work out okay. It was pretty scary at the time. It was pretty scary at the time. It was pretty scary at the time, but looking back, it was one of the best decisions I ever made. But looking back, it was one of the best decisions I ever made. But looking back, it was one of the best decisions I ever made. The minute I dropped out, the minute I dropped out, the minute I dropped out, I could stop taking the required classes that didn't interest me. I could stop taking the required classes that didn't interest me. I could stop taking the required classes that didn't interest me and begin dropping in on the ones that looked far more interesting. And begin dropping in on the ones that looked far more interesting. And begin dropping in on the ones that looked far more interesting. It wasn't all romantic. It wasn't all romantic. It wasn't all romantic. I didn't have a dorm room, so I slept on the floor in friends' rooms. I didn't have a dorm room, so I slept on the floor in friends' rooms. I didn't have a dorm room, so I slept on the floor in friends' rooms. I returned Coke bottles for the five cent deposits to buy food with. I returned Coke bottles for the five cent deposits to buy food with. I returned Coke bottles for the five cent deposits to buy food with. And I would walk the seven miles across town every Sunday night. And I would walk the seven miles across town every Sunday night. And I would walk the seven miles across town every Sunday night to get one good meal a week at the Hare Krishna temple. To get one good meal a week at the Hare Krishna temple. To get one good meal a week at the Hare Krishna temple. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. And much of what I stumbled into by following my curiosity and intuition, and much of what I stumbled into by following my curiosity and intuition, and much of what I stumbled into by following my curiosity and intuition turned out to be priceless later on and turned out to be priceless later on.
and turned out to be priceless later on. Let me give you one example. Let me give you one example. Let me give you one example. Reed College at that time. Reed College at that time. Reed College at that time offered perhaps the best calligraphy instruction in the country. I am offered perhaps the best calligraphy instruction in the country. I am offered perhaps the best calligraphy instruction in the country. Throughout the campus, every poster, throughout the campus, every poster, Throughout the campus, every poster, every label on every drawer was beautifully hand calligraphed. Every label on every drawer was beautifully hand calligraphed. Every label on every drawer was beautifully hand calligraphed. Because I had dropped out and didn't have to take the normal classes, because I had dropped out and didn't have to take the normal classes. Because I had dropped out and didn't have to take the normal classes, I decided to take a calligraphy class to learn how to do this. I decided to take a calligraphy class to learn how to do this. I decided to take a calligraphy class to learn how to do this. I learned about serif and sans serif typefaces. I learned about serif and sans serif typefaces. I learned about serif and sans serif typefaces, about varying the amount of space between different letter combinations, about varying the amount of space between different letter combinations. about varying the amount of space between different letter combinations, about what makes great typography great, about what makes great typography great. About what makes great typography great. It was beautiful, historical, artistically subtle. It was beautiful, historical, artistically subtle. It was beautiful, historical, artistically subtle in a way that science can't capture. In a way that science can't capture. In a way that science can't capture. And I found it fascinating. And I found it fascinating. And I found it fascinating. None of this had even a hope of any practical application in my life. None of this had even a hope of any practical application in my life. None of this had even a hope of any practical application in my life. But 10 years later, but 10 years later, But 10 years later, when we were designing the first Macintosh computer, when we were designing the first Macintosh computer, when we were designing the first Macintosh computer, it all came back to me. It all came back to me. It all came back to me. And we designed it all into the Mac. And we designed it all into the Mac. And we designed it all into the Mac. 
It was the first computer with beautiful typography. It was the first computer with beautiful typography. It was the first computer with beautiful typography. If I had never dropped in on that single course in college, if I had never dropped in on that single course in college, If I had never dropped in on that single course in college, the Mac would have never had multiple typefaces or proportionally spaced fonts. The Mac would have never had multiple typefaces or proportionally spaced fonts. The Mac would have never had multiple typefaces or proportionally spaced fonts. And since Windows just copied the Mac, and since Windows just copied the Mac, and since Windows just copied the Mac, it's likely that no personal computer would have them. It's likely that no personal computer would have them. It's likely that no personal computer would have them. If I had never dropped out, if I had never dropped out, if I had never dropped out, I would have never dropped in on that calligraphy class. I would have never dropped in on that calligraphy class. I would have never dropped in on that calligraphy class, and personal computers might not have the wonderful typography that they do. And personal computers might not have the wonderful typography that they do. And personal computers might not have the wonderful typography that they do. Of course, of course, Of course, it was impossible to connect the dots looking forward when I was in college. It was impossible to connect the dots looking forward when I was in college. It was impossible to connect the dots looking forward when I was in college. But it was very, very clear. But it was very, very clear. But it was very, very clear looking backwards 10 years later. Looking backwards 10 years later. Looking backwards 10 years later. Again, you can't connect the dots looking forward. Again, you can't connect the dots looking forward. Again, you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. You can only connect them looking backwards. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. You have to trust in something. You have to trust in something. You have to trust in something. Your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. Your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. Because believing that the dots will connect down the road. Because believing that the dots will connect down the road. Because believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart. Give you the confidence to follow your heart.
give you the confidence to follow your heart even when it leads you off the well-worn path. Even when it leads you off the well-worn path. even when it leads you off the well-worn path, and that will make all the difference. And that will make all the difference. And that will make all the difference. My second story is about love and loss. I was lucky. I found what I love to do early in life. I was lucky. I found what I love to do early in life. I was lucky. I found what I love to do early in life. Waz and I started Apple in my parents' garage when I was 20. Waz and I started Apple in my parents' garage when I was 20. Waz and I started Apple in my parents' garage when I was 20. We worked hard. We worked hard. We worked hard, and in 10 years, Apple had grown from just the two of us in a garage. And in 10 years, Apple had grown from just the two of us in a garage. And in 10 years, Apple had grown from just the two of us in a garage into a $2 billion company with over 4,000 employees. Into a $2 billion company with over 4,000 employees. Into a $2 billion company with over 4,000 employees. We just released our finest creation, the Macintosh. We just released our finest creation, the Macintosh. We just released our finest creation, the Macintosh, a year earlier, and I just turned 30. A year earlier, and I just turned 30. A year earlier, and I just turned 30. And then I got fired. And then I got fired. And then I got fired. How can you get fired from a company you started? How can you get fired from a company you started? How can you get fired from a company you started? Well, as Apple grew, we hired someone who I thought was very talented. Well, as Apple grew, we hired someone who I thought was very talented. Well, as Apple grew, we hired someone who I thought was very talented to run the company with me, to run the company with me. To run the company with me. And for the first year or so, things went well. And for the first year or so, things went well. And for the first year or so, things went well. But then our visions of the future began to diverge. But then our visions of the future began to diverge. But then our visions of the future began to diverge. And eventually we had a falling out. And eventually we had a falling out. And eventually we had a falling out. When we did, our board of directors sided with him. When we did, our board of directors sided with him. When we did, our board of directors sided with him. And so at 30, I was out. And so at 30, I was out. And so at 30, I was out, and very publicly out.
and very publicly out. And very publicly out. What had been the focus of my entire adult life was gone. What had been the focus of my entire adult life was gone. What had been the focus of my entire adult life was gone, and it was devastating. And it was devastating. And it was devastating. I really didn't know what to do for a few months. I really didn't know what to do for a few months. I really didn't know what to do for a few months. I felt that I had let the previous generation of entrepreneurs down. I felt that I had let the previous generation of entrepreneurs down. I felt that I had let the previous generation of entrepreneurs down, that I had dropped the baton as it was being passed to me, that I had dropped the baton as it was being passed to me. that I had dropped the baton as it was being passed to me. I met with David Packard and Bob Noyce. I met with David Packard and Bob Noyce. I met with David Packard and Bob Noyce and tried to apologize for screwing up so badly, and tried to apologize for screwing up so badly. and tried to apologize for screwing up so badly. I was a very public failure and I even thought about running away from the valley. I was a very public failure and I even thought about running away from the valley. I was a very public failure and I even thought about running away from the valley. But something slowly began to dawn on me. But something slowly began to dawn on me. But something slowly began to dawn on me. I still loved what I did. I still loved what I did. I still loved what I did. The turn of events at Apple had not changed that one bit. The turn of events at Apple had not changed that one bit. The turn of events at Apple had not changed that one bit. I'd been rejected, but I was still in love. I'd been rejected, but I was still in love. I'd been rejected, but I was still in love. And so I decided to start over. And so I decided to start over. And so I decided to start over. I didn't see it then. I didn't see it then. I didn't see it then, but it turned out that getting fired from Apple was the best thing that could have ever happened to me. But it turned out that getting fired from Apple was the best thing that could have ever happened to me. But it turned out that getting fired from Apple was the best thing that could have ever happened to me. The heaviness of being successful. Me. The heaviness of being successful. The heaviness of being successful was replaced by the lightness of being a beginner again. Was replaced by the lightness of being a beginner again.
was replaced by the lightness of being a beginner again, less sure about everything, less sure about everything. less sure about everything. It freed me to enter one of the most creative periods of my life. It freed me to enter one of the most creative periods of my life. It freed me to enter one of the most creative periods of my life. During the next five years, I started a company named Next. During the next five years, I started a company named Next. During the next five years, I started a company named Next, another company named Pixar, another company named Pixar. Another company named Pixar and fell in love with an amazing woman who would become my wife and fell in love with an amazing woman who would become my wife. And fell in love with an amazing woman who would become my wife. Pixar went on to create the world's first computer animated feature film. Pixar went on to create the world's first computer animated feature film. Pixar went on to create the world's first computer animated feature film, Toy Story, Toy Story. Toy Story and is now the most successful animation studio in the world and is now the most successful animation studio in the world. And is now the most successful animation studio in the world. In a remarkable turn of events, Apple bought Next. In a remarkable turn of events, Apple bought Next. In a remarkable turn of events, Apple bought Next, and I returned to Apple, and I returned to Apple, and I returned to Apple, and the technology we developed at Next is at the heart of Apple's current renaissance. And the technology we developed at Next is at the heart of Apple's current renaissance. And the technology we developed at Next is at the heart of Apple's current renaissance. And Lorene and I have a wonderful family together. And Lorene and I have a wonderful family together. And Lorene and I have a wonderful family together. I'm pretty sure none of this would have happened if I hadn't been fired from Apple. I'm pretty sure None of this would have happened if I hadn't been fired from Apple. I'm pretty sure none of this would have happened if I hadn't been fired from Apple. It was awful tasting medicine. It was awful tasting medicine. It was awful tasting medicine, but I guess the patient needed it. But I guess the patient needed it. But I guess the patient needed it. Sometime life, sometimes life's going to hit you in the head with a brick. Sometime life, sometimes life's going to hit you in the head with a brick. Sometime life, sometimes life's going to hit you in the head with a brick. Don't lose faith. Don't lose faith. Don't lose faith. I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going, I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going, I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going was that I loved what I did, was that I loved what I did. Was that I loved what I did. 
was that I loved what I did. You've got to find what you love. You've got to find what you love. You've got to find what you love. And that is as true for work, and that is as true for work. And that is as true for work as it is for your lovers, as it is for your lovers. As it is for your lovers. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied, and the only way to be truly satisfied, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work, is to do what you believe is great work. Is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work and the only way to do great work and the only way to do great work is to love what you do is to love what you do is to love what you do if you haven't found it yet if you haven't found it yet If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. Keep looking and don't settle. Keep looking and don't settle. As with all matters of the heart, as with all matters of the heart, As with all matters of the heart, you'll know when you find it. You'll know when you find it. You'll know when you find it. And like any great relationship, and like any great relationship, and like any great relationship, it just gets better and better as the years roll on. It just gets better and better as the years roll on. It just gets better and better as the years roll on. So keep looking. So keep looking. So keep looking. Don't settle. Don't settle. Don't settle. My third story is about death. My third story is about death. My third story is about death. When I was 17, when I was 17, when I was 17, I read a quote that went something like, I read a quote that went something like, I read a quote that went something like, if you live each day as if it was your last, if you live each day as if it was your last, if you live each day as if it was your last, someday you'll most certainly be right. Someday you'll most certainly be right. Someday you'll most certainly be right. It made an impression on me. It made an impression on me. It made an impression on me. And since then, for the past 33 years, and since then, for the past 33 years,
And since then, for the past 33 years, I've looked in the mirror every morning and asked myself, I've looked in the mirror every morning and asked myself, I've looked in the mirror every morning and asked myself, if today were the last day of my life, if today were the last day of my life, If today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I am about to do today? Would I want to do what I am about to do today? Would I want to do what I am about to do today? And whenever the answer has been no for too many days in a row, and whenever the answer has been no for too many days in a row, And whenever the answer has been no for too many days in a row, I know I need to change something. I know I need to change something. I know I need to change something. Remembering that I'll be dead soon. Remembering that I'll be dead soon. Remembering that I'll be dead soon is the most important tool I've ever encountered to help me make the big choices in life. Is the most important tool I've ever encountered to help me make the big choices in life. Is the most important tool I've ever encountered to help me make the big choices in life. Because almost everything because almost everything because almost everything all external expectations all pride all external expectations all pride all external expectations all pride all fear of embarrassment or failure all fear of embarrassment or failure. All fear of embarrassment or failure. These things just fall away in the face of death. These things just fall away in the face of death. These things just fall away in the face of death, leaving only what is truly important leaving only what is truly important. Leaving only what is truly important. Remembering that you are going to die is the best way I know. Remembering that you are going to die is the best way I know. Remembering that you are going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. To avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. To avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You are already naked. You are already naked. You are already naked. There is no reason not to follow your heart. There is no reason not to follow your heart. There is no reason not to follow your heart. About a year ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. About a year ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. About a year ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. I had a scan at 7.30 in the morning. I had a scan at 7.30 in the morning. I had a scan at 7.30 in the morning, and it clearly showed a tumor on my pancreas. 
and it clearly showed a tumor on my pancreas. And it clearly showed a tumor on my pancreas. I didn't even know what a pancreas was. I didn't even know what a pancreas was. I didn't even know what a pancreas was. The doctors told me, the doctors told me, the doctors told me this was almost certainly a type of cancer. This was almost certainly a type of cancer. This was almost certainly a type of cancer that is incurable, that is incurable. that is incurable, and that I should expect to live no longer, and that I should expect to live no longer. And that I should expect to live no longer than three to six months, than three to six months. Than three to six months. My doctor advised me to go home. My doctor advised me to go home My doctor advised me to go home and get my affairs in order, and get my affairs in order. And get my affairs in order, which is doctor's code for prepare to die, which is doctor's code for prepare to die. which is doctor's code for prepare to die. It means to try and tell your kids everything. It means to try and tell your kids everything. It means to try and tell your kids everything. You thought you'd have the next 10 years to tell them. You thought you'd have the next 10 years to tell them. You thought you'd have the next 10 years to tell them in just a few months, in just a few months. In just a few months. It means to make sure everything is buttoned up. It means to make sure everything is buttoned up. It means to make sure everything is buttoned up so that it will be as easy as possible for your family, so that it will be as easy as possible for your family. So that it will be as easy as possible for your family. It means to say your goodbyes. It means to say your goodbyes. It means to say your goodbyes. I live with that diagnosis all day. I live with that diagnosis all day. I live with that diagnosis all day. Later that evening, I had a biopsy. Later that evening, I had a biopsy. Later that evening, I had a biopsy where they stuck an endoscope down my throat, where they stuck an endoscope down my throat. Where they stuck an endoscope down my throat, through my stomach and into my intestines, through my stomach and into my intestines. Through my stomach and into my intestines put a needle into my pancreas and got a few cells from the tumor. Put a needle into my pancreas and got a few cells from the tumor. Put a needle into my pancreas and got a few cells from the tumor. I was sedated. I was sedated.
I was sedated, but my wife who was there, but my wife who was there, but my wife who was there told me that when they viewed the cells under a microscope, told me that when they viewed the cells under a microscope, told me that when they viewed the cells under a microscope, the doctor started crying. The doctor started crying. The doctor started crying because it turned out to be a very rare form of pancreatic cancer. Because it turned out to be a very rare form of pancreatic cancer. because it turned out to be a very rare form of pancreatic cancer that is curable with surgery, that is curable with surgery. That is curable with surgery. I had the surgery, and thankfully, I'm fine now. I had the surgery, and thankfully, I'm fine now. I had the surgery, and thankfully, I'm fine now. <clears throat> mm. This was the closest I've been to facing death. This was the closest I've been to facing death. This was the closest I've been to facing death. And I hope it's the closest I get for a few more decades. And I hope it's the closest I get for a few more decades. And I hope it's the closest I get for a few more decades. Having lived through it, having lived through it, having lived through it, I can now say this to you. I can now say this to you. I can now say this to you with a bit more certainty than when death was with a bit more certainty than when death was with a bit more certainty than when death was a useful but purely intellectual concept. A useful but purely intellectual concept. a useful but purely intellectual concept. No one wants to die. No one wants to die. No one wants to die. Even people who want to go to heaven, even people who want to go to heaven, Even people who want to go to heaven don't want to die to get there. Don't want to die to get there. Don't want to die to get there. And yet, <laughs> death is the destination we all share. And yet, death is the destination we all share. And yet, death is the destination we all share. No one has ever escaped it. 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 And that is as it should be. And that is as it should be. And that is as it should be, because death is very likely the single best invention of life. Because death is very likely the single best invention of life. Because death is very likely the single best invention of life. It's life's change agent. It's life's change agent.
It's life's change agent. It clears out the old to make way for the new. It clears out the old to make way for the new. It clears out the old to make way for the new. Right now, the new is you. Right now, the new is you. Right now, the new is you. But someday, not too long from now, but someday, not too long from now, but someday, not too long from now, you will gradually become the old and be cleared away. You will gradually become the old and be cleared away. You will gradually become the old and be cleared away. Sorry to be so dramatic. Sorry to be so dramatic. Sorry to be so dramatic, but it's quite true. But it's quite true. But it's quite true. Your time is limited. Your time is limited. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. So don't waste it living someone else's life. So don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma. Don't be trapped by dogma. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions, don't let the noise of others' opinions Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. Drown out your own inner voice. Drown out your own inner voice. And most important, and most important, and most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know. They somehow already know. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. What you truly want to become. What you truly want to become. Want to become. Everything else is secondary. Everything else is secondary. Everything else is secondary. When I was young, when I was young, When I was young, there was an amazing publication. There was an amazing publication. There was an amazing publication called the Whole Earth Catalog. Called the Whole Earth Catalog. Called the Whole Earth Catalog, which was one of the Bibles of my generation which was one of the Bibles of my generation. Which was one of the Bibles of my generation. It was created by a fellow named Stuart Brand. 
It was created by a fellow named Stuart Brand. It was created by a fellow named Stuart Brand, not far from here in Menlo Park. Not far from here in Menlo Park. Not far from here in Menlo Park. And he brought it to life with his poetic touch. And he brought it to life with his poetic touch. And he brought it to life with his poetic touch. This was in the late 60s. This was in the late 60s. This was in the late 60s, before personal computers and desktop publishing. Before personal computers and desktop publishing. Before personal computers and desktop publishing. So it was all made with typewriters, scissors, and Polaroid cameras. So it was all made with typewriters, scissors, and Polaroid cameras. So it was all made with typewriters, scissors, and Polaroid cameras. It was sort of like Google in paperback form. It was sort of like Google in paperback form. It was sort of like Google in paperback form 35 years before Google came along. 35 years before Google came along. Thirty-five years before Google came along. It was idealistic. It was idealistic. It was idealistic, overflowing with neat tools and great notions. Overflowing with neat tools and great notions. Overflowing with neat tools and great notions overflowing with neat tools and great notions. Stuart and his team put out several issues of the Whole Earth Catalog. Stuart and his team put out several issues of the Whole Earth Catalog. Stuart and his team put out several issues of the Whole Earth Catalog. And then, when it had run its course, and then, when it had run its course, And then, when it had run its course, they put out a final issue. They put out a final issue. They put out a final issue. It was the mid-1970s. It was the mid-1970s. It was the mid-1970s, and I was your age. And I was your age. and I was your age. On the back cover of their final issue, on the back cover of their final issue, on the back cover of their final issue was a photograph of an early morning country road, was a photograph of an early morning country road. was a photograph of an early morning country road, the kind you might find yourself hitchhiking on, the kind you might find yourself hitchhiking on, the kind you might find yourself hitchhiking on if you were so adventurous, if you were so adventurous. If you were so adventurous. Beneath it were the words, beneath it were the words, beneath it were the words, stay hungry, stay foolish. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Stay hungry, stay foolish. 
stay hungry, stay foolish. It was their farewell message as they signed off. It was their farewell message as they signed off. It was their farewell message as they signed off. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Stay hungry, stay foolish. And I have always wished that for myself. And I have always wished that for myself. And I have always wished that for myself. And now, as you graduate to begin anew. And now, as you graduate to begin anew. And now, as you graduate to begin anew. I wish that for you. I wish that for you. I wish that for you. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Thank you all very much. Thank you all very much. Thank you all very much. The preceding program is copyrighted by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu.